let's have a look at the VK4502 B today. Now I already I have already done the review of this tank, so you can check it out on my re review playlist. Uh, you can find this tank. Uh, I just want to show you how overpowered this thing is in the right hands in the right map, and of course with some degree of luck, it is one of the most capable tanks you're gonna get in the game. I got accused of a hacker because apparently I hacked the armor on the tank. Apparently. Um, they can't pair me and I amorack them because you know I'm I'm, ha I'm a hacker. Apparently I hacked the server, and apparently I they can't pair me. You know that I, I apparently got every single hack in the world that can make me immune to anything. Uh, accused by some one of those players, they sent me a private message. I, I think it's a Lorraine player. He sent me a message saying apparently I was a hacker. So I'll I'll let you have a look at it in my perspective. Now, if anyone with a brain in capacity would have known that. This VKB is the toughest tank frontally, except probably T95 and uh, those tanks. It's probably the most o overpowered, or let's say, the most devastating tank uh, to meet in a tier 9 game. Uh, it's, it can literally just destroy them. It's, just, it's so capable of destroying them. Right? The guy fired a HE at me and it did zero damage because I have super heavy spore liner. That's right. People get angry and fire heat sheet at me, so I decided to put the super heavy spore line up. And then there goes the quarters dead. I don't really give a shit what I do here. I know that as long as I don't get flanked, I am pretty sure I can live and kill them. And of course, live to tell the tale. I blast that SU152. SU152 puts a massive HE up to me, which does 40 damage. Now, the reason he only does 40, as I said. Because I have the uh, the module that enables basically me to absorb HE rounds, and uh, yeah, apparently Noob got D54 and bounce. Yeah, 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 yeah. Apparently, yeah. yeah. Some some guy was such low. I remember that he had like pretty shitty stats, and he is like calling everyone else noobs and shit. Oh, sorry about that. WZ111 didn't really mean to do that. I really wanted to go forward and tank more. Uh, since you know it's, it's heavy tank mission after all I'm trying to do something here I'm trying to angle and then blast him in the face uh, but I don't connect, connect the shot so I wait and I try to shoot the right place but I don't connect the round and this WZ is gonna pay for this uh, move now <laughs> he is gonna get hit taken out so I have to quickly think where should I go to make sure that I stay out of here alive. Now the Lorraine stopped trying to kill me. So now I only got two targets, a full health E5 and a Persian. I wanna take out the Persian because he can flank me but the E25 cannot. I'm fast enough to deal with him, at least frontally, to angle it enough. So yeah, see the bounces? This is how OP this tank is. It really needs a nerf. Now the way I pen the E25 is to shoot him in directly on the mantle next to his mantle, the flattest part on his turrets. You can pen him there with APCR, and that is what I'm thinking to do. He penned me there uh, with APCR, and I'm gonna give him a turn there. Finally, I was able to penetrate and do damage. Persian bounces again. Now, I know the E75 is now loading APCR, so I've gotta be careful. I've gotta go back and take another shot. So as long as I put the shots in the right place, I can do the damage, you know. We're losing, and I am pretty confident after I take out this E35, everything can get better, or is it? So, Persian makes a f stupid mistake. I have no idea what he was thinking about. You don't, you don't do that <laughs> in a Persian. So we got, we're getting capped, and uh, we lost Slay in there. And uh, tell you that Slay got me the T34-3, and uh, if you don't see the T34-3 review before you see this game. Then I will, uh, of course, just you just wait for the T thirty four three review. I will give you one of the most interesting uh, opinions of all time. Because, uh, I don't know why the tank really works for me. The tank loves me. I love the tank. So you're gonna see an entirely new perspective compared to other YouTubers. And I'm gonna explain to you, of course, why is it so good. Now VKB, I just knocked it out the E twenty five. I took him out almost from full health. 
Now the 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 problem is the object four thirty is actually a really decent player, and now they just dis disappeared. So I don't know which way they can come from. Close quarter fighting. They all they have to do is stick next to me. I have basically no ability to to defend me, and that E twenty five goes dude. That was a fast reload. Well, I, I don't think there's anything called a reload hacker, is there? Because <laughs> I can't say to server, yo, I'm gonna re reload faster than usual. And you can see, if you check here, I don't actually have that fast reload. This, look, he goes strangely fast. He, he really thinks I'm hacking or something. But you can see from the replay, of my point of view, that my reload is not that bad you know, at all. It's, it's not that, like, it's not, like, really, really fast in that sense. It's, it's not. He's a good noob, so be careful. Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Believe wherever you want, guys. Comment in the in the uh, uh, in the video description, uh, video comments. I really want to hear what you guys think. And um, I really don't know how. I, I am apparently hacking, you know, with this tank when I'm bouncing stuff and I'm reloading here. I don't know why is it hacking. The the reload is perfectly normal. I have a rammer. I have brothers in arms, and I have a pretty pretty solid crew I would say and of course I had vents and uh, I think the third one was the no, no I don't have vents actually but it's about for me it's about 11 second reload or something like that uh, from the top of my head I can't remember but as you can see it's not that fast really it's it's just probably the easy fire was probably just got a shit crew and he's blaming on that but yeah I'm confused to where the Type 59 is. Uh, I'm not really sure where he is. And I don't, the worst thing that can happen is now he can flank me. And trust me, he can. If he, if I give him the this, this side armor, he's gonna pair me all the rear. And this thing turns so slowly, he's gonna be around me. Not even funny. Uh, so I try to, you know, find him. But I'm not gonna go cat to say, hey, I'm there. And I, I go around here because I don't want to leave the the close quarter combat. Long range, I get fucked up so hard by a medium, possibly. Then they get, they cap me. So watch what happens in a moment. Speed it up to two times, okay? Here I come approaching to the cap circle. Of course, you pre-aim at the cap circle, and, and there you go. There's the type 59, and I am on Well, okay, it was lucky, okay, but of course the, the Lorraine goes. Of course, noob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm afraid there there isn't something called a reload hack. At least not not from what I know. I don't think you can tell the server to reload faster um, because everything's calculated under the server side in World of Tanks. So apparently my OP armor is because I hacked the server. That's what's so funny about this replay. I give my opinion. They think I I hacked the reload. They think I hacked the the ammo rack system. So I ammo rack them, of course, without aiming. Uh, and all that crap. I don't know. Um, they even p PM'd me after the game, you know, t telling me I'm a cheater. So t I really want maybe you guys to tell me what you think about this game. Uh, but I, I, one thing I, I guarantee you is that uh, <laughs> how can I tell the server to Amorak? That that's just funny as hell. Um, so hopefully you have enjoyed this one and um, do tell me uh, if there's ever a hack like that. That would be funny, but uh, again, uh, it's, it's, I, I would say it's as impossible as, let's say, by the time you watch this video, your your house run, uh, your house uh, get earthquake. That sort of probability, you get those type of hacks where you buff up your armor. Of course, it is it's possible for you to do it, but I don't think it's available anyway. And every you, unless you hack the actual wargaming server, I don't think you can do it. So yeah. Hopefully you have enjoyed this beast video. I think the only thing they complain sh should be to wargaming that they over buff this thing to be a monster. There's nothing wrong with the person driving it if they can't kill me, you know. I, I just, I'm just showing them my front armor. I don't even need to angle it to, to make it effective. And you saw this game was such an amazing damage output. Six kills and definitely carried this game. Uh, and um, hopefully you have enjoyed this. Of course, I want to chat to you guys in the comments below. I want to feel what you guys think about and all that crap. So, we we'll see you next time.